so today is a Sunday and I think it is in October and it's the first day that we have uh, met with what is currently our team um, basically uh, Rosie our producer uh, Mandy who is now doing concept arts and storyboards but will uh, soon be heading our art department I can guarantee you and me I'm the writer and director of um, the new feature film we're doing The Egg Machine um, today has been mostly about conceptualizing the initial stage of the pre-production, getting some uh, sketches on paper, and basically trying to visualize what this film is going to look like in the end. So we can move forward um, with our second goal. Our second goal would be to wait for the airplane. So here we are again on a Sunday evening. Pre-production for another feature. Did one earlier on this year, which is uh, my first experience of being a producer, and uh, it went pretty well. But we, were, you know, we didn't have very much time. I think we had three months pre-production on the Panema file, and this time around with the Eight Machine, we're, you know, we've learned lessons, and uh, we're giving ourselves a lot more time. But now you're getting to the core of the story because the core of this whole story and the game show element of it is Max is being put to these questions that that um, make him confused about whether or not he is ape, machine, or man or something else entirely. But like he's made out of the brain of an ape, hooked up to machines, but programmed with human intelligence. That that's where the conflict, the real sort of core of the story is, and what drives the whole thing in the game show is because he isn't able to answer the question what is he you know yeah wait for the airplane wait for the airplane wait for the airplane so the other thing that's uh, really exciting for me about this project is that it's a bit more science focused and that's kind of my background so uh, it's really interesting trying to think of plausible ways of things happening in a sort of scientific manner because uh, I don't, you know, being a scientist myself I don't want people to watch this film and be like oh my god that's so unrealistic, oh my god what on earth are they talking about especially people who have some kind of knowledge in the field I mean artificial intelligence, it's, you know, pretty big and there's lots of people who know an awful lot about what they're talking about so... So yeah, our next goal and in, in the next segment of this documentary we're doing, uh, we're going to try as best we can to find uh, the people we need for our art department so we can start figuring out um, what kind of materials do we need to uh, build our sets and um, uh, how, how long does, is it going to take to make these sets and, and, and prop pieces. Uh, also, obviously, how much is it going to cost because um, in the end it's you know, basically all about you know, your budget and, and can you make this happen on the limited amount of money that we have in the in the film world. So far so good. We've got Michelle on board who's uh, doing the, doing this documentary for us and uh, so far doing a really great job, really, really happy with everything she's doing. Um, and we've also got Mandy on board who's doing concept art for us and uh, it's really great watching her work and, you know, sort of coming up with the ideas and then seeing them out in front of us. We're just a couple of kids running around with the cameras after all, like most indie filmmakers are. Get going, get more stuff, get more people involved, find, find our green room where we're going to film this whole thing. And uh... The basic concept behind this documentary is uh, to show you guys that um, we're making a feature film and this is how we do it, you know. So today's been really good, it's been really productive, uh, we've come up with lots of ideas, uh, sort of come up with some concepts for colour palettes for some of the characters and how we're going to use that throughout the film. So we're really sort of getting, getting all the ideas down, getting all organised. General themes that are going to run through, how we're going to, how those are going to, those motifs are going to be visualised. We're trying to do as, as much as possible to make this uh, real. So um, we are now at this incredible stint of seven months of pre-production that we're going to take to finally end up at our principal photography moment, which is going to last two months after that. So the whole film is going to take nine months to, to shoot. You really have to think about your logistics. This has been probably one of my main contributions to Fighting Badges so far, is kind of organizing things. How long certain things take to film and you know s different setups, how much time we need for that sort of thing, as well as um, you know 
being more aware of continuity. I want to talk a little bit about our uh, previous feature film uh, called The Ipanema File. There might be a uh, tra link to the trailer somewhere around me. We shot the whole thing uh, this year in 2014 and we are in post-production right now and we are releasing that film in December. Now we have tried to make a documentary before um, called Philadelphia Film. Um, similar concept, we try to um, basically take you through the whole steps of pre-production, production and post-production. Uh, this massively failed um, due to various circumstances. We were not able to find the time and the resources to make that into something uh, good. So um, it, you can find it somewhere on YouTube. This time we're trying to really, really show you every single step of making a feature film on a low budget. So important to, as much as film is an unrealistic medium, you know, you have to have your boundaries. You have to know, know what you're working in, know what your uh, frame of reference is. And that means mostly waiting for airplanes. You know, so we get started. It's all very exciting. I can't wait to get more involved with it all again. It's a, it's a really fun, fun thing to do. I want to talk a little bit, though, about um, waiting for airplanes. What else? Did I need to say anything else? Yeah. I think we're there. Yeah.